Hello. I'd like to comment on figure 12 in your book, page 84, on meeting humor. I'd like to address two issues. Number one, the use of smartphones or iPads and laptops during meetings. And secondly, uh, one of my favorite direct report, Harold, and his comments, now it's time to get back to work at the end of a meeting. To the use of smartphones and iPads and laptops during meetings, you are actually multitasking, which is not acceptable in a business environment. This could be a generational issue, but let me tell you a little story from the field. I helped a colleague of mine prepare for a major presentation at a manufacturing site in Louisiana. I helped him on the content, I helped him think through the slides, I helped him on his presentation for the extended leadership team in one of the Shell businesses. There were about 15 folks sitting at the meeting in a, uh, in a table, and 14 or 15, <laughs> nearly 100%, were surreptitious, very quietly looking at their Blackberries. They're not taking notes. And they weren't Googling things they didn't know. They were checking their email. And one employee was just down with her laptop open, brazenly running through her email and answering it. I felt so bad for my buddy because people weren't listening. Don't try that. I really ad advise you. And if you've had those kinds of experiences, why don't you respond to the YouTube this little video by t talking about those experiences. However, I have to tell you that last week we had an interview of a uh, candidate to take a position here, and I was Googling on my iPhone. Why? He was talking about stuff that I was unfamiliar with, and I wanted on the spot to understand what, for example, the global project was. But I still think that was a mistake because people would automatically assume that I wasn't paying attention. Now, my buddy Harold, my direct report, the end of a meeting, now Skip, it's time to get back to work. And I would always say, Harold, this is work. You know, meetings uh, occupy our life and they are work. I'd like to make a couple of points here, A, B, C, D, E. A, many decisions are made in the casual chats among people before the meeting. And the meeting is kind of a place to stamp it. Secondly, meetings must have an agenda. And my strong advice is that the agenda be distributed in advance to give people time to give it some thoughts. That's a point made in Chapter 3, Figure 16. That's chapter 3, figure 16. Now, my buddy tells me a story of going to a meeting when the chairperson said, is there any agenda? Anybody have an agenda? No items? Meeting over. Yikes. What a waste of time. And literally, time is costly. Point C, I lean toward regularly scheduled meetings so that everybody gets them on their calendar and they know they're coming and so you can build they can build their calendar around the meeting that already exists d i think that you need one role as a moderator but the or the chairperson but i don't think the chairperson should be the timekeeper i think a separate person should be asked to keep time and you can rotate those during meetings and the final point is we in Shell rotated the role of taking notes and getting them distributed. Why? A, believe it or not, people can't remember what happened at a meeting a week later. So there is a record to remind folk. And let me build on to it. I think every meeting should end with action items. Who does what by when? And as you may guess, I think they ought to be held accountable for doing it, on time and in full, OTIF, on time and in full. 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed the chapters. Uh, I hope you're learning as we're going, because I certainly am, from you guys. Thanks. <laughs>